I did add an extra page to this. Hey guys, it's Jamie here. I'm back with a quick page idea using this pretty vintage paper. The second part of this video will have your journaling prompt. Because this already has a lot printed on it, my idea involves taking some of this out. Not sure how much you can see this, but there are some swirls here. round these swirls at the bottom and back up the other side. Using the vintage photo I'm going to come in over the frame that we've created then we're going to take some of the pieces that we've cut away from the original and reposition them around the frame. Again I'm going to cover up any bad cutting or uneven edges. I have also stained a picture with vintage photo. We don't want this to fold precisely halfway because then the frame wouldn't be on the turn. When it turns over, the frame is on this page. This will stick out over the cover. I will take some of this edge off. Now she may need to be cut down, it depends how that fits on there. No, that's okay. Glue the clock on. I want her to feel less obviously just stuck onto this page. So I have here some white gesso. And I'm going to scrub over those edges. And with the vintage photo, go back over those edges. Here I have Mod Podge and scraps of napkin that have been torn to deliberately be uneven. You can see I'm tearing the tiniest of pieces. The same at the top. To bring those napkin colours into the whole page, I have the central motif from this napkin. I have the white gesso. The edges of these fade everything together. because it's going into a book, unless it was going to be the central part of the book, you'd end up separating these two pages from each other. And of course you don't want to do that. Taking a, another page, we will glue this onto this page. And we're going to glue it in such a way that this becomes a pocket. It should take a thin bead of glue along the two sides and the bottom edge. For this page, I've also cut out one of the circle elements, a rose, and edged it in the vintage photo. Here we have some of the actual journal pages from the Pretty Vintage. Yesterday I went to the beach and on a piece of sticker paper, I've printed up some photos from that trip. I can add set of journal pages to this and I might do because I might want to add some notes as well. As well as cut out all my frames of my day out, I've started to do some blank ones and so they are in keeping with the journal, taking the vintage photo and aging the sticker paper by rubbing over. We can go round the cut edges so that everything is in keeping with the Smashbook journal, the papers. I did add an extra page to this and the way I did it was I simply sewed down. Quickly to review where we're at, this is now ready for the tag and the journaling prompt for the day. On the following page, we've got my trip to the local beach with some frames that you can write some notes in. 
and on this page too. And then if I wanted to write more like a diary style, I've added a sticker onto this page and you could write more about that day out on the following three pages. Journaling question for the day. How would you describe your ideal friend? Ideally like a friend who is single, of similar age, young in attitude and action, likes to have fun, has own life and interests, so isn't needy, good at conversation, stable emotions please, funny, extrovert, intelligent, happy to mix and socialise, also happy to chill on the beach, positive and enthusiastic about day-to-day -day ordinary things in life. That would be my ideal friend and probably if I was looking for one my ideal romantic partner so take that as either friend or partner or both up to you. Once the prompt is filled out and I actually put the question on my tag but you could put it in that label that is going to go in the big pocket. I will write my notes up see how I get on with the space that I've allocated and if necessary I'll move on to the other pages or we will decorate those next time and do some more prompts. If you have enjoyed this video and you are on YouTube please do all the YouTube-y things which is like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the notifications bell, check out the Facebook group now over 17,000 members and do check out this beautiful pretty vintage digital kit and exclusive video tutorials. And I will see you next time.